Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Proverbs 6 through 7 and 2 Corinthians 2. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Warning Against Folly, Proverbs 6 My son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, if you have shaken hands in a pledge for a stranger, you have been trapped by what you said, ensnared by the words of your mouth. So do this, my son, to free yourself. Since you have fallen into your neighbor's hands, go to the point of exhaustion and give your neighbor no rest. Allow no sleep to your eyes, no slumber to your eyelids. Free yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the snare of a fowler. Go to the ant. You sluggard, consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler. Yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at the harvest. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When, when will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep. A little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief, and scarcity like an armed man. A troublemaker and a villain who goes about with a corrupt mouth, who winks maliciously with his eyes, signals with his feet and motions with his finger, who plots evil with deceit in his heart. He always stirs up conflict. Therefore, disaster will overtake him in an instant. He will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, Hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. Warning against adultery. My son, keep your father's commands. And do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them always on your heart. Fasten them around your neck. When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. For this command is a lamp. This teaching is a light and correction and instruction are the way to life, keeping you from your neighbor's wife, from the smooth talk of a wayward woman. Do not lust in your heart after her beauty, or let her captivate you with her eyes. For a prostitute can be had for a loaf of bread, but another man's wife praise on your very life. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being burned? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? So is he who sleeps with another man's wife. No one who touches her will go unpunished. People do not despair nor despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his hunger when he is starving. 
yet if he is caught he must pay sevenfold though it costs him all the wealth of his house but a man who commits adultery has no senses whoever does so destroys himself clothes and disgrace are his lot and his shame will never be wiped away for jealousy arouses a husband's fury, and he will show no mercy when he takes revenge. He will not accept any compensation. He will refuse a bribe, however great it is. Warning against the adulterous woman. Proverbs 7 my son, keep my words, and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands, and you will live. Guard my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and to insight, you are my relative. They will keep you from the adulterous woman. From the wavered woman with her seductive words. At the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice. I saw among the simple a notice among the young men. And I noticed among the young men a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house. At twilight, as the day was fading, as the dark of night sat in, then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent. She is unruly and defiant. Her feet never stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, at every corner she lurks. She took hold of him and kissed him, and with a brazen face she said, Today I fulfill my vows, and I have found from my fellowship offering at home and so i came out to meet you i looked for you and have found you i have covered my bed with colored linens from egypt i have perfumed my bed with myrrh all aloe and cinnamon come let us drink deeply of love until morning let's enjoy ourselves with love my husband is not at home he has gone on a long journey he took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon with persuasive words she led him astray she seduced him with her smooth talk all at once he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose, till an arrow pierces its liver, like a bird darting into a snare, like little knowing it will cost him his life. Now, then, my sons, listen to me, pay attention to what I say, do not let Go to sleep. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or astray into your path. Many are the victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the grave, lending down or leading down to the chambers of death. 
that was Proverbs 6 through 7. And now we will be turning to 2 Corinthians 2. Second Corinthians 2. So I made up my mind that I would not make another painful visit to you. For if I grieve you who is left to make me glad, but you whom I have grieved, I wrote as I did, so that when I came I would not be distressed by those who should have made me rejoice. I have confidence in all of you that you would all share my joy. For I wrote you out of great distress and anguish of heart and with many tears, not to grieve you, but to let you know the depth of my love for you. Forgiveness for the offender. Now, if anyone has caused grief, <laughs> caused grief, he has not so much grieved me as he has grieved all of you. So, to some extent, not to put it too severely, the punishment inflicted on him by the majority is sufficient. Now, instead, you ought to forgive and comfort him so that he will not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. I urge you, therefore, to reaffirm, reaffirm your love for him. Another reason I wrote you was to see if you would stand the test and be obedient in everything. Anyone you forgive, I also forgive, and what I have forgiven. If there was anything to forgive, I have forgiven in the sight of Christ, by your sake and for your sake, in order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not unaware of his schemes. Ministers of the New Covenant Now, when I went to Taurus to preach the gospel of Christ and found that the Lord had opened a door for me, I still had no peace of mind because I did not find my brother Titus there. And so I said goodbye to them and went on to Macedonia. But thanks be to God, who always leads us as captives in chariots, or who always leads us in captives, uh, in Christ triumphed for her procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. For we are to God the pleasing aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. To the one we are an aroma that brings death, to the other an aroma that brings life. And who is equal to such a task? Unlike so many, we do not peddle the word of God for profit. On the contrary, in Christ we speak before God with sincerity as those set from sent from God. And that was Second Corinthians two, which concludes the Bible with Frisco twenty twenty three for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Proverbs eight through nine and Second Corinthians three. Father, I just thank you for your word, because if it were not for your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, 
Amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2023. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because, well, God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share.